Hey everybody, it's Ryan from the Seton Public Library Studio Department with another Audacity tutorial lesson. In this video, I'll be going over how to add third-party plugins so you have more options when you're mixing. So let's go ahead and get into it. I'm going to play back this drum clip. So if I wanted to add a different kind of EQ or a different kind of compressor, I would have to go to the top over here to Effect, and then the Add slash Remove Plugins selection, and then it will pop up this window for Manage Plugins, and these are all the different, as you can see, VST files that are in your VST folder. And if we close out of this, I'll show you really quickly. If we go to our hard drive, for Mac, you would go to Library, Audio, and then to Plugins. And when you hit Plugins, it's going to show you all these different kind of plugin file formats. But what we're looking at right now is VST files. And these are all the different ones I have installed. So we'll close out of that. And if we go to the Effects tab one more time, add slash remove plugins we would navigate to a plugin that we want to use. So I'm going to go for the DF Excite and you have to make sure you select Enable. So when you select Enable and you go back to Effect, it's going to be under this divider line. These are all your third-party plugins. So here we go, DF Excite. Okay. Make sure you select the audio. And then there we go. We have the processing from that third party plugin. If we want to look at a different kind of EQ, go to add slash remove plugins once again. Make sure that this VST file is here. Let's see. I'm going to go with the HQ2. Going to hit enable. Effect. And there we go, HQ2. Okay. And try to flatten this out. Okay, playback. So yeah, make sure whenever you're adding any of this processing, you select the whole audio clip. Okay, so that's pretty much it. As long as you installed your plugin and it's a VST file, it will show up in this Manage Plugins window. And as long as you hit Enabled, it will pop up in the Effects tab underneath this divider line. If it doesn't show up, make sure that it's a VST file and also double check that it's in the correct directory for it, like how I navigated before. And that's all there is to it. Take it easy, guys.